Hello dog lovers. Today we're going to talk about whether a Doberman is the right breed for you. Obviously I think Dobermans are one of the best dog breeds out there, but they are absolutely not for everyone. So I'm going to talk about a few things that I think you should consider when thinking about whether a Doberman is the right fit for your family. First of all, are you willing to devote the time and energy needed to exercise a dog? Many Dobermans, maybe even most Dobermans, are high energy. We get lots of potential adopters saying that the most important thing to them in a new dog is that it be calm. While there are calm Dobermans out there, and I have owned some in the past, it's not typical of the breed. Either way, they are going to need structured exercise. Fenced yards are great for letting a dog run free and play, but they are no substitute for structured exercise. Walks are really important for dogs, both physically and mentally. As my husband says, dogs are made to walk the earth. Going around the neighborhood and sniffing everything is their equivalent of reading a book. Walks are also really an important way to build their training and increase their bond with you. If you're just relying on a fenced yard to keep your dog exercised, you're really doing them a disservice. That's unless the dog is highly reactive to people or other dogs and walking them is unsafe. So if you are considering a Doberman, I would plan to devote one to two hours a day to walking your dog. Secondly, are you willing to establish boundaries? If you want a dog you can spoil rotten with absolutely no consequences, a Doberman is not the right dog for you. They do best in a home with structure and boundaries. What those boundaries are will be individual to your home and your individual circumstances, but if you are not comfortable putting rules in place and enforcing them, both you and your dog will suffer for it. Related to that, are you willing to devote um, the time to training your dog and be willing to consult with a trainer or behaviorist if necessary? Dogs love to learn new things, and training is really going to be key to having a Doberman be a happy, socialized, and well-mannered member of your family. You should also understand that sometimes behavioral issues arise that can be fixed if you are willing to make a commitment to getting the professional help you need. If you're not willing to make the commitment to getting help when you need it, a Doberman is not the right dog for you. Are you prepared to have a guard dog in your home? Dobermans are bred to be protective and alert. That means that sometimes do Dobermans bark. If you're in an environment like an apartment where barking might not be tolerated by the neighbors, you need to think carefully about whether it's the right time to bring a Doberman into your life. Also, we often get potential adopters who say that the most important thing to them in a new dog is that the dog be social and friendly. While some Dobermans are indeed social butterflies and friendly with everyone they meet, Dobermans were bred to protect their people, so it's perfectly natural for them to be wary of strangers. If you work at a hair salon and want to bring your dog to work with you to be the official greeter, a Doberman might not be the right choice for that environment. Yes, there are Dobermans who would happily do that, but it's not typical for the breed, and it's really not a fair expectation, especially of a rescue dog. Are you prepared for a dog who will follow you everywhere? Yes, we have had dogs surrender to rescue for being too needy. Dobermans bond to you, they're bred to protect you, and thus they want to go everywhere you go. If you don't want a Velcro breed, a Doberman is not the right dog for you. What about financial considerations? Are you financially prepared to take on the responsibility for the, a dog who has a genetic predisposition to developing a potentially fatal condition that will necessitate spending hundreds of dollars on screening echocardiograms and Holter monitors and potentially very expensive medications? Are you emotionally prepared to adopt a dog that, despite everything you do, could still be lost to dilated cardiomyopathy at quite a young age? It is heartbreaking. I think it's worth the love they give, but it's very difficult, and you need to know that going in. And finally, are you prepared to make a lifetime commitment to a dog? Would you consider giving up a dog due to a change in your work hours, residence, or family circumstances? If you would, please don't adopt a Doberman. They develop extremely close bonds to their family, and they don't deserve to have their lives turned up upside down out of convenience to you. We all understand that life happens, and sometimes people have to surrender dogs for reasons beyond their control, but it should be a last resort, not something you do lightly. I do hope you will think about these questions carefully, because there is absolutely nothing like the love and devotion of a Doberman. If you can provide what they need, 
they will be the most wonderful companion imaginable. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, I hope you will like and subscribe, and we will see you next time.